Today on MTV News, meet Stephen Kellner. We head to his studio in Westwood, New Jersey to talk shop. We'll also go to the radio station at Bailey Dickinson's WFDU to see what it takes to be a radio DJ. We'll find out why Bloomfield College students relieve stress with music. All this and more on MTV News. Welcome to MTV News. I'm Darren Fisher. In breaking news, Foo Fighters aren't breaking up. Rumors circulated after Dave Grohl's solo performance at the Oscars that the Foo's would be calling it quits. But the band responded with a seven minute YouTube video with cameos from producer Butch Vig and Nick Lachey from the boy band 98 Degrees. The Foo's had the message for the million time we're not breaking up and no one's going solo. Foo Fighters have no tour dates at the moment but they just released a new EP called St. Cecilia on their website. New Jersey's own Siobhan and the Fuzz have released a new live video for their single Shade. The video is the first installment of Architect TV, a new web series from Architect Recording Studios in Butler, New Jersey. Shade is the first single from Siobhan and the Fuzz's long-awaited debut album. Siobhan and the Fuzz are on tour all this summer. For dates, check out SiobhanandTheFuzz.com. From Beethoven to Justin Bieber, here's how Bloomfield College students relieve stress with music during the semester. Caps and gowns, capstones, and commencement, oh my. Stress is everywhere, especially toward the end of the okay, semesters. No All right. Barbara from the media said she's calling for, for presenting us in the screening room. Melissa Fulton is a work study and full-time nursing student. She says she has a hectic schedule, but singers like Whitney Houston and Luther Vandross play through her earbuds to get her through the day. I first started hearing that music when I was younger from my parents and aunt, who used to listen to it and was always calming. So when I'm studying or sitting here, I just listen to that music. It keeps me calm. Students listen to a wide range of music to relieve the anxiety of studying for exams, working out, and their daily activities. Biology student Lillian Perez says she listens to classical music while studying to ease the pressure of exams. There's no like words to it, it's just music and it gets me to focus more. When you're studying, you know, you want to get the information and sometimes if I don't get something it just calms me down. I listen to a lot of Beethoven, but also there are these guys called the piano guys or the piano brothers and they do like remakes of different songs so that's who I listen to the most. Music is a way of life for many Bloomfield College students on their academic journey. Kelly Fry says she listens to Drake and Justin Bieber to get herself ready for the daily stress of college. Sometimes it's just like the beat of their music or like the lyrics that they say like it like means something. Music can help ease the pressure but the college also has people you can talk to. Please contact Health Services at extension 1360 for more information. In Bloomfield, I'm Darren Fisher. Coming up after the break, we'll hear from audio producer Stephen Kellner. But first, we'll go to Fairleigh Dickinson's WFDU to see what it takes to be a radio DJ. Stay tuned. Do you know someone who enjoys driving and would like to make a significant difference in someone's life? Maybe that person is you. Easy Ride Senior Transportation Program is in need of caring individuals to become volunteer drivers for their award-winning service. For as little as four hours a week, you can help give seniors back their freedom. There's no cost to you and there are plenty of benefits. For more information, call 201-939-4242 or go to easyride.org to sign up. Easy Ride, keep rolling. In this MTV News exclusive, we went to Fairleigh Dickinson's WFDU.FM to hang out with the 180 Minutes crew and see what it takes to be a radio DJ. I'm Darren Fisher, host of 180 Minutes on WFDU.FM HD2. And I'm going to take you guys on a little mini tour of the 180 Minutes studios and show you what it's like to be a radio DJ. Hi, 
180 Minutes is a rock show that plays music from bands like Korn, Slipknot, and Breaking Benjamin, and also local acts like Siobhan and the Fuzz, Blame Shift, and Ascending from Ashes. About three doors down, it is in the dark on 180 Ooh. Minutes. We are constantly researching and learning about new music to keep 180 Minutes fresh. My co-host, Allison Smith, lets the community know about what's up with the weather and what's up going on around them. But there is help. Transition Professionals is a nonprofit organization located in Hackensack. Every week is a party on 180 Minutes, and you guys are always invited every week. And it's awesome for me to share my musical taste with you guys. You can listen to 180 Minutes online at WFDU.FM or get the WFDU.FM app and take us on the go with you. I hope you've enjoyed this mini tour of the 180 Minutes studios. Thank you guys for watching. And you can always catch me Tuesdays from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on 180 Minutes on WFDU.FM HD 2. Heavily distorted guitars, pulse-pounding drums, and layered vocals are all in a day's work for audio producer Stephen Kellner. We went to his music recording studio in Westwood, New Jersey. It's like a little quick feeling for the chorus because I think just naturally played it, slowed down a touch. Um, but it feels pretty good for like... Stephen Kellner is a music producer, songwriter, and multi-instrumentalist. Music became relevant. Sadly, it wasn't like a good one I could tell a good story about, but uh, it was my older sister's Mace album, you know, like Sean Puffy Combs and Mace and Big, Big Papa, and I was like, I need the Mace album. And so I bought it, and uh, that kind of sparked it for me. Quickly after that, my other sister and brother kind of hijacked my music tastes, gave me a bunch of Blink-182 and Sum 41, and my brother was big into metal. I remember picking up a guitar. I was in sixth grade. I watched my friend Matt. I remember after I think it was the first song, I kind of was just sitting on the couch like wide-eyed. I rode my bike home, got my dad's guitar out of a closet, I rode back to my friend's house with the guitar on the handlebars, and I said, give me a lesson. And after that, I was, I was obsessed. I always wanted to be a singer. I just like loved doing it and practiced it and practiced it. I would, at that time, I started taking like violin lessons, bass to keyboard. Tell me, tell me why the sun is shining out here in Jersey. When you are nowhere near. Different bands that I was in over the years, uh, a band called Van Atta High, my own little project called Roderick, a band called Born Cages, who they're doing real well right now. All these different bands have kind of brought me to where I am now and thankfully introduced me to some of the artists I work with pretty regularly. Before Tom kind of sounds like a basketball. Kellner says his passion for audio production began after listening to the used self-titled album. There's something about the production, all the elements, like all the bells and whistles, the extra vocals, the shaker and bells, literal bells and whistles. All of those things put together made this album some kind of special listening, you know, event. I found out John Feldman produced that record and then I kind of just bought every other CD he was working on and I started kind of just absorbing the different production tricks. That was a, a turning point for me because I started listening to not just the music but to the recording. When I was in high school I amateur recorded at anyone that I could get my hands on and I ended up going to NYU for music tech. The program there changed my life. We would spend late nights in the recording studios, figure out methods that worked and of course we would share all this information with each other which made me want to push myself because I realized how hungry they were. Keller moved his studio out of his bedroom and into Westwood, New Jersey. So, been working out here the last year and a half or so, really with a ton of talented bands. I can help you see an idea through to the end. Um, whether it's a very developed musical idea or just a fragment, or I call them nuggets, just a nugget of an idea. Um, 
I, with along with the help of friends of mine, music colleagues, um, contract musicians a lot to just get the project done. Your engineering, your editing, your mixing, your mastering, your retracking, your tuning vocals, making hip hop beats, writing lyrics together, maybe even writing music together to help an artist realize what is in their head and get it out and then they hear it and they're so excited. Sometimes they just can't stop laughing or smiling or grinning, but that is a huge, you know, success for me to just be able to be the vessel for the idea. Like that's what we're there to do for each other is teach each other. Personally, I like to believe you leave a, a lasting impression on each other for forever. Calmer says music recording has become a very competitive field. Home recording's easier than it ever has been, so a lot of people are just doing it themselves. That's how I started, so I don't, I can't knock it. Um, but it's it's tough to just keep momentum going because a lot of it is word of mouth and reference. You know, help each other. And people actively wanted to make everything better for everyone, and I I don't see as much of that nowadays. It's really just building a family. And yeah, just I want to make records as many records as possible, and I want to make records that stand the test of time. Yeah, that's all. It's not about money. It's more about. Let's create stuff together. It's food for the soul, so let's eat. <laughs> you can check out samples of Kellner's work at skSongs.bandcamp.com. In Westwood, I'm Darren Fisher. That's it for this episode of MTV News. Stick around for the MTV Music Awards, where Kanye West will probably say something stupid. I'm Darren Fisher. Good night.